morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very early morning. Uh, today's date is May the 24th on a Tuesday, and the local time right now at Denver International Airport, 4.36 a.m. Uh, so guys, yesterday the 23rd and today the 24th, I had off. So I told you guys um, I'd be picking up on my days off, and that's exactly what I did. Um, so this is a turn because I go on reserve 1201 going into the 25th. But let me tell you where I'm going. It is a Denver to airport code MEM, -E which is Memphis, Tennessee. So Denver to Memphis and then Memphis back to Denver. So this is a early morning turn because legally I cannot work the goals to my reserve period. And what I mean is when I come back from this trip, it's going to be, well, 1140, so 30 minutes after that, 1210, I go on reserve at 1201. So I need to have 11 hours of rest before I go into my reserve block, and this is perfect. Um, so for this uh, turn, guys, I will be the Beyonce. And let me give you the uh, specs for this turn. Time away from base, uh, seven hours and 10 minutes. Uh, credit hours. The credit hours are four hours and 55 minutes. So when I pick up on my days off, um, those trips go into a separate bucket. And I know it's very complicated, but that's why I work so hard because it's a different type of money. But all around, I need my money, okay? All right, so that's what's going on this early morning. Um, my uh, check-in time is 5 a.m. So I am in the airport. Now we are able to check in uh, via online, so I already did that. But I just wanted to talk to you guys for a few minutes, but before I go, this is uh, the look I have going for this turn. Not really feeling the makeup, but I am tired. My sleeping pill that I take, it kicks in when it wants to, because I have a hard time uh, getting up early in the morning. But this unit that I have on, again, this is what I ordered from Amazon, and this is it. So this is definitely uh, the Bohemian 28 inches in 1B. So she's long. Definitely it is a uh, two different uh, curl patterns. So sometimes I, I'm a little iffy about wigs this long because they tangle, but yeah. Oh well, that's the look I'm going for today. I will be wearing this wig as well for my upcoming uh, reserve block, which is tomorrow. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get through security get to my gate and then I'll be with you walking down the jet bridge but I got some time so we'll see what happens but guys it's a turn more credit hours because your girl needs the points so we'll talk later all right guys heading down the jet bridge you guys know what time it is safety checks and pre-flight requirements um it's very early it looks like a light load on the a320 space flex but we'll see so guys I will see you in Memphis I need to wake up All right, guys, we are in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, the local time right now is about 9.45 a.m. We are we are going to do a turnaround, a very quick turnaround. But the flight time from Denver to Memphis, uh, two hours. It was not a full flight coming to Memphis, but going back, it is projected to be a full flight. Um, so right now, guys, uh, we just tidy up the cabin, and we are going to be boarding in a few minutes. Um, I am a little tired, but I am starting to wake up again, and I'm flying with a senior crew, minus the strong background singer, but everyone else is senior. So guys, we're going to be boarding very shortly, just doing a couple of checks on the pilot's end, and then we are going to get ready to go on the A320 Space Flex. So guys, I'm tired, but I need to get energetic because I am Beyonce. Definitely, this wig is serving a look. It is. It's a, it's a dupe. See, I put a little powder right there. So this is definitely a, a dupe of some type of good Brazilian hair, but it's still wiggy. I will not hold you guys and tell you I'm gonna slay a wig. I'm not gonna slay a wig. This is how I do it. So, hey, but guys, I will see you in Denver. You guys have, stay tuned. And ladies and gentlemen, I am back at the crash pad. Uh, the local time right now, 3.20 p.m. 
So the flight time from Memphis to Denver was an hour and 58 minutes. So something did happen. Uh, the gate agent had two passengers escorted off the plane by the police. Now this had nothing to do with the flight crew. And you know, so what happened is we were down boarding and I saw three fine Memphis police officers come on the aircraft and he did his little walkie talkie. What's the seat number? And he took those passengers off. So apparently some passengers were being disrespectful in the boarding area. Again, had nothing to do with us, but yeah, that was interesting. So, and another thing happened. So guys, I got another speeding ticket. I don't know if I told you about the first one. Actually, I got a speeding ticket last week going to a trip and the officer clocked me going 15 miles over the speeding limit. So the speed limit was 55 and I was going 70. So he caught me, pulled me over. Because I was 10 miles over the speed limit, he uh, gave me a ticket. It is $160, four points off my license. If I pay the ticket, it reduces to two. Well, it happened again today. So I'm driving and I'm listening to Journey. I have my headphones on and I'm like not even paying attention, right? And I saw police lights, so I thought, Oh, he wants to get past me, right? No, he wanted to pull me over. So 75 miles speed limit, I was going 91. This officer had grace on me. He dropped the ticket down to 84 instead of me going 10 over. So it's a $103 fine. And it's only one point off my license. So that's three. And honestly, I'm not trying to be naive, but I don't know how none of this worked. So I got my uh, driver's license in 2018. So I know nothing about this. I have been pulled over before in Arizona, but they never gave me a ticket. They were looking for drugs and, you know, all those other things. So this is new. I don't know if you can get a ticket in a state and it's on your license. So I don't know if these points would transfer to my license. I don't know, but that's what's going on. So guys, I just got the shower, feeling fresh, feeling clean. Uh, I am going to take this wig off. I did take off my eyebrows in the shower because they were sweating off like honestly but i go on reserve at midnight for four days now i did bid for a four-day trip it's a double layover in philly with a dallas layover now when that cop pulled me over it was into that time of bidding so i did bid for it a minute after it opened up so a minute guys means everything for a flight attendant because it is first come first serve i hope i get the trip it's two positions i hope i get one We'll see. But that is what's going on, guys. I just had a slim fast shake. I am about to prepare for this trip that I don't have. It does report tomorrow night, so we'll see. But I know I have a pickup later. So three turns in a row. Two by cruise scheduling and this one on my day off. Guys, I'm going to continue to make those coins because not only do I owe the IRS, but now I gotta pay off two speeding tickets. And money just don't come out of thin air, baby. Mama's got to work. So guys, thank you for coming with me. This short turn to Memphis, Tennessee. The crew was nice. I will say that the very strong background singer, he was trying to hit on me. He just graduated about a month ago and he's trying to come for me. <laughs> Baby, I am a senior mama compared to your seniority. And the answer is no. Point blank and period. I do not mess with anyone from my airlines. If you work at another airlines, it's all fair game. But I do not play where I stay. And on that note, uh, I am out. Peace.